to Orca Tutorials. Um, in the previous video, we talked about how to set up Orca calculations using the Avogadro software. Um, now, there is a, an easy way uh, because uh, uh, you you know that uh, this software Gauss View is much easier to use and um, it's easy to visualize molecules in this. So uh, you can also make a calculation file manually uh, Gauss View or any other software. Like basically, this the purpose of this visualization software is to draw the molecule and then you can save the coordinates. So what we'll do is uh, I have made a molecule view and I'll save it uh, as a as a file uh, just uh, test one two three so now um, I can see that uh, here is the file and uh, it has the, the coordinates in it if you look at it you'll see that it has the coordinates in it so now uh, what we'll, we'll do is we'll just uh, change this file to, to an ORCA style file. So in ORCA you need coordinates at the end and uh, before that you need all the other information like uh, basis set etc. So uh, we'll, we'll write it down manually here and then uh, save this file and you can change the extension to dot INP or anything else you want. So uh, in ORCA, you know that the the coordinates at the are at the end and uh, they are put between a star. So you'll put a star over here and then say X Y Z and then space. So now that's a charge and the multiplicity and at the end you will see uh, a star over there as well. So now we'll we'll need to change all this um so i'll write the memory required and then the processors required and then this line with a hash that that is the the title card For that we need the the route card so the route card starts with a sign of exclamation and here we can uh, give the commands we like uh, to like optimize or whatever calculation we want. So I'll write PBE0, that is the function, and I want the D3 correction for it. And then optimize the molecule, so I write opt. And uh, in ORCA, it takes the, if there is a, a checkpoint file like the GBW file present in the folder, it it automatically detects it and starts reading the molecular orbitals from there. So if you if you want it not to do that, you can say no auto start. So that's basically for telling the orca not to use the any checkpoint file, just do the calculation that I'm telling you. And then I want tight SCF. Um, for the tighter SCF criteria and then um, in ORCA you uh, first will specify the basis set um, I'm specifying the uh, correlation consistent basis set and after that uh, in ORCA you also need to specify an auxiliary basis set that uh, actually speeds up the calculation and uh, I'm, I'm using RIJ cause X. Uh, you can look up for these auxiliary basis sets in the ORCA manual, as I told you in the previous videos, or um, or you can look up online as well. So um, I'm using the augmented PV, uh, CCPVTZ slash C um, as the uh, auxiliary basis set for this RIJ cause X approximation. If you are not sure which auxiliary basis set to use, you can simply say auto aux, uh, auto aux, and then you can save the file and uh, you can 
you can run the file then. So this is a basic Orca input file that uh, we actually use the coordinates from Gauss view to prepare. So similarly, you can use the coordinates from anywhere, from any X, Y, Z coordinates. You, you have the Cartesian coordinate, you can just copy paste and, and make a file from here. So next time, uh, if we need to make another file, we can simply copy this route card or all this information. And uh, you can add more information according to your requirement. Um, and that's that's all given in the Orca manual. And now what we will do is uh, we'll change the, uh, the extension for it to dot INP. That looks like an Orca file, so you will submit it, and then when it um, it's complete, you will have the output file, the XYZ file, and all the other files, and then you can visualize them uh, using Chemcraft or any of the software. And uh, the XYZ file can be visualized using JMOL software. So um, JMOL is uh, a tool that is used to visualize Orca files. I'll tell you about JMOL in another video. Um, and I hope you now know how to make Orca files using um, with the help of Gauss View software. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.